Bill Homan with the Homan Karate Academy, and in this session we'll be covering an area that we've covered briefly before, but now I hope to go into a little more depth. Uh, I have uh, uh, Sensei Ed Sheets and his assistant uh, Dan Barcolo, and they're going to be here. They're from uh, uh, Shorei Goju School of Karate in Hobart, and they're, they do the karate program or the judo program over there, and they're coming here to demonstrate some judo techniques and show you a little bit what judo is really like. Now you hear the various words, judo means the gentle way, but as you see the falls and stuff like that, you're kind of questioning if it really is that gentle. But what it's doing is it was taken from the art of jujitsu, which is an art of force against force, where the person attacks you and, will, and there's a lock on the arms and it's uh, the strike into the body and stuff like that. With judo, you just direct the force and you guide it. If the person pushes you, you don't fight the push, you just go with it. And so that's various differences. And they, in judo, you'll see throws. You'll see sweeping the feet out from under the person. You'll see where they choke the person, where they into submission, where they have to slap and, and, and give in, uh, sort of uncle, so to speak. Or maybe an arm lock, where they lock the arm and they put you in so much pain that you have to, you have to give in. Those are the, the three aspects, the main aspects of what you'll be seeing with judo. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to Sensei Sheets, and he'll be going through a few throws right now. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to start with the, uh, show the basic warm-ups and how it, how it is. You see, every time they hit the mat, I might just say right now that you see them slapping the mat. And what that's doing is taking the pain out of the fall. In uh, judo, you train the person into liking to fall, not being afraid of falling. It has to be something that you really enjoy. And the basic person is, finds it very uncomfortable to fall. But once you learn how to fall and how to slap, it's not that bad at all. You see some pretty heavy falls out there. And uh, just loosening up the body, getting used to the falls in the various different ways. Okay, those are basic falls. Then we go into the rolls. In rolls, what you do is you kind of guide with the fall. Let's say they throw you and you can just kind of flow right into it. Flow right into it. You make yourself like a wheel and just roll up like it's a wheel. So if somebody gets a hold of you, you can just take the fall and just kind of flow with it. Okay, we're going to go also through some other, the basic type throw we're going to break down. <coughs> Ogoshi. Ogoshi. Okay, Ogoshi is a major hip throw, and it's one of the most basic uh, throws in, in judo. It's the one you start with, and it's something, if you'd like to try at home, it's something you can see if you could 
do a judo throw. Okay, that's Ogoshi. Now to explain what he's doing, okay, from a guard position, he's stepping in, and he's coming around the person so he gets a hold of them, he's pivoting his body around and is putting his hips below their center of gravity. Turning the wheel, and down he goes. And that's a little bit faster. But the idea of that is, is learning to take your balance and get it below the person's center of gravity, turning in the same direction, getting your hips below them, and just turning over, and down they go. You can rest the person on your hips. A small woman, we, we had someone out here we could show that she could take the strength of a, t uh, or a weight of a higher, a weight more uh, heavier person and be able to balance them very easily with this throw to see if it's done right. All you're going to do is get your hip in and just lean them over. Okay, to show you how this works and show you what the directions mean in getting the person off balance, we're going to go through the various directional movements you, you put the person in, and anytime you get the, him to break in that direction, putting his weight in a certain way, there's a throw that you can do that's associated with that mo type of move. Okay, we're going to bring you over and show you how the, the various uh, off-balance positions. Now, they're both standing there, no one's off-balance. Their center of gravity is centered and they're balanced. But now if he gets them to go to the back side, now there's a throw there. He's broke his balance. The other side, he's broke his balance. Okay, bringing him forward, his balance is broke. Bringing him forward, his balance is broke. You can see him almost starting to go just by that, by that movement. Going back, straight back. Okay, coming down on that foot. So, all he did is he had him going that way, he continued the power going. And you, you'll see that they're not pushing the person, they're not pushing, they're just guiding. Person's strength comes at them, and they guide it. Okay, well, I'd like to see that again, please. What he's doing here is the person's pushing at him, and he's taking that push, and he's brought him off balance, okay? Now he starts to fight because he knows he's wrong. He comes back, and he's just taking over the other way. This is more advanced technique, but this is how it works when you're advanced. You're able to feel the person's balance, how they fight. They're back, down he goes. And it's all done in a split second. Okay, what we're trying to do is in showing the different uh, main parts of judo is we're going to go from the throws, which we went through a few, and we're going to kind of break it down and show you a couple of the chokes, how chokes are done, and, and how the locks are done. We'll start with the chokes. In a choke, you put a person in a position of choke that when the person slaps their side, you know that it's in good, and they, if you don't let it go with a matter of seconds or, or so, the person's unconscious and you can knock the person out in, in one to three seconds if the choke is done right. And what it does is it stops the blood going to the brain and uh, they immediately go unconscious. So we're going to do this in a kneeling position and the reason for that is if he does get a little bit too deep in his choke, he won't uh, be landing on the floor. Now this is how a choke is done. Okay, they were the real heavy judogis and the judogi has a real thick collar and you can use that in the choke and the way they do it is they bring one hand down and the other one goes across the juggler and by pushing down and pulling across it's making the artery close and the person's being choked out. You can see just that little bit and how fast he's putting on and you can see the effect of it 